Welcome to this video lecture. This is Mark Scythian, FAA licensed aerospace technician, airframe, power plant, and avionics certified. The date today is February 21st, 2017. The title of this video lecture is 90 millimeter electric ducted fan propulsion mechanics. This is a rather lengthy lecture and analysis, which is going to be broken up into four parts. Starting with the typical 90 millimeter electric ducted fan, dimensional specifications as drawn here. We have an inlet duct that constricts down into an intake, and then the constriction airflow results in mass airflow acceleration into aerodynamic thrust. This also includes thrust accrued by the propeller fan itself within the duct which is representing a summation between both Bernoulli and Newtonian aerodynamic thrust components. So these are the given dimensions, which is very typical to commercially sold 90 millimeter electric ducted fan units, keeping a efficient pressure ratio for acquiring a satisfactory amount of jet velocity as well as mass airflow acceleration into thrust. Assume that this EDF is powered by a lithium polymer LiPo battery pack with the following specifications. 5000 milliamp hour capacity, 6 cells, and 50 C discharge. A fully charged LiPo will have a maximum DC voltage per cell of 4.2 volts DC. Since LiPo batteries are constant current output, only their voltage will deplete over the function of time during use. However, DC voltage ratings for lithium polymer batteries are based on an overall average voltage during operation of 3.7 volts DC per cell. This is the average voltage per cell during the maximum and minimum charge status of the battery. Also, since the voltage is constant throughout all cells, the cells are wired in parallel, whereas the battery is connected to the motor and speed controller in series due to the fact the LiPo battery operates at constant, car constant current output throughout all operating ranges of charge. A six cell LiPo will have a DC voltage rating of six times 3.7 volts DC or 22.2 volts DC total rating voltage for the LiPo. The maximum current draw potential of this given LiPo is equal to 5000 milliamp hours divided into 1000 to equal 5 amp hours multiplied times 50 C discharge for a total available max current output of 250 amps DC. The maximum power potential in watts of this given LiPo is equal to 250 amps DC times 22.2 volts DC to equal 5,550 watts of DC power. Of course, by using the properly rated brushless electronic speed controller linked to a wireless digital radio receiver, the maximum DC current output to the EDF DC brushless motor can be regulated and wirelessly controlled by the wireless transmitter for an RC airplane application. Calculating the maximum potential power available in the given LiPo is a reference point in terms of potential power and energy density for the given power source. Lithium polymer batteries have an energy density comparable to gasoline since RC electric motors are DC brushless electric motors governed by digital electronic circuits with a typical electromotive efficiency of 80%. Gas engines, on the other hand, have a thermal efficiency at best of 25% to 30%, and between the two, a LiPo has approximately the same usable power potential as gasoline. To elaborate further, due to the high energy density of a lithium polymer battery pack, use the power DC brushless electric motors which typically have an 80% electromotive efficiency compared to DC brushed electric motors, 
which typically have an electromotive efficiency of 50%, the lithium polymer battery operating at constant current output becomes a power source comparable to gasoline. Most electronic speed controllers are also integrated with a low voltage cutoff LVC circuit to shut down the power output of the LiPo when the DC voltage per cell falls below 3.3 volts DC. Typically lithium polymer battery packs should not be discharged below 3.5 volts DC per cell in order to maximize lifespan of the LiPo. Any voltage below 3.0 volts DC will permanently discharge lithium polymer batteries rendering them unusable or destroyed. The LVC circuits are usually integrated into brushless electronic speed controllers to prevent the operator from over discharging and destroying their LiPo. LiPo batteries are charged to a maximum DC voltage per cell of 4.2 volts DC and rated an average DC voltage of 3.7 volts per cell and must not fall below 3.3 volts DC. Capacity in milliamp hours MAH is a measure of the amount of continuous milliamp current output for a continual hour or continual amp output for one continual hour or amp hour. 5000 MAH denotes a capacity equal to 5 amps of DC current output for one continual hour since 1000 MAH is equal to 1 amp hour. C discharge denotes a discharge rate in coulombs C rating which when multiplied times the amp hour rating will yield the maximum current output of the battery. The total current output of the battery would by no means ever be completely released all at the same time since the LiPo would connect to an electronic speed controller with a certain amps DC current rating. Think of a brushless electronic speed controller or BESC as like a regulator valve for DC electrical power output which is wirelessly controlled from 0 amps to its rated amp limit which is connected to the LiPo on one end and then to the wireless radio receiver and EDF motor on the other end. The wireless transmitter on the throttle function can be adjusted for the desired throttle or power output of the motor from considerable distances. Many digital wireless radios have ranges exceeding 1.1 miles making this setup practical for EDF powered RC model airplanes. Now that the power source and power regulation systems have been defined and explained, it is time to move on to the actual propulsion mechanics and physics involved in this particular 90 millimeter electro electrical electric ducted fan. The concept of aerodynamic jet propulsion is fundamentally based on the acceleration of mass airflow to develop force thrust. Aerodynamic thrust is the reactionary force which develops equally and oppositely to the action force of the jet velocity or mass airflow acceleration. The Newtonian aerodynamic thrust force component is equal to mass airflow times acceleration or change in speed of that mass airflow. Depending on how much mass air the fan can ingest and accelerate through the various duct cross-sectional area stages determines how much static thrust the jet will develop. A jet's maximum static rating is based on maximum power setting while the engine or motor is held at rust. The forward pushing force in pounds static thrust is equal to the jet velocity out of the exhaust nozzle in feet per second times the mass airflow in pounds per second then divided into the Earth's gravitational acceleration or 32.2 feet per second squared. The maximum static thrust rating can be used to determine 
maximum available jet velocity by multiplying the static thrust rating in pounds times Earth's gravitational acceleration or 32.2 feet per second squared then divided into the pounds per second mass airflow. Since a fan is essentially a propeller with more blades and typically higher disc loading pressure than a typical propeller, it too will behave partially as a propeller even if it is ducted into the function of a jet accelerating mass airflow throughout a fixed and circular column of air. Force is equal to pressure times area representing Bernoulli force. This lecture will explain the applied physics calculations required for converting electrical power into mechanical power and then into aerodynamic power so that a set of propulsion specifications for this EDF or electric ducted fan can be accurately calculated to determine performance capabilities. This will end part one of